Proverbs 22. A beautiful reputation is more to be desired than great riches, and to be lovingly esteemed by others is more honorable than to own immense investments. The rich and the poor have one thing in common, the Lord God created each one. A prudent person with insight foresees danger coming and prepares himself for it. But the senseless rush blindly forward and suffer the consequences. Laying your life down in tender surrender before the Lord will bring life, prosperity, and honor as your reward. Twisted and perverse lives are surrounded by demonic influence. If you value your soul, stay away from them. Dedicate your children to God and point them in the way that they should go. And the values they've learned from you will be with them for life. If you borrow money with interest, you'll end up serving the interests of your creditors. For the rich rule over the poor. Sin is a seed that brings a harvest. You'll reap a heap of trouble with every seed you plant. For your investment in sin pays a full return, the full punishment you deserve. When you are generous to the poor, you are enriched with blessings in return. Say goodbye to a troublemaker and you'll say goodbye to quarrels, strife, tension and arguments. For a troublemaker traffics in shame. The Lord loves those whose hearts are holy and he is the friend of those whose ways are pure. God passionately watches over his deep well of revelation knowledge, but he subverts the lies of those who pervert the truth. A slacker always has an excuse for not working, like, I can't go to work, there's a lion outside, and murderers too. <laughs> Sex with an adulteress is like falling into the abyss. Those under God's curse can jump right in to their own destruction. Although rebellion is woven into a young man's heart, tough discipline can make him into a man. There are two kinds of people headed towards poverty. Those who exploit the poor and those who bribe the rich. Listen carefully and open your heart. Drink in the wise revelation that I impart. When you treasure the beauty of my words, you'll become winsome and wise. Always be prepared to share my words at the appropriate time. For I'm releasing these words to you this day, yes, even to you, so that your living hope will be found in God alone. For he's the only one who is always true. Pay attention to these excellent sayings of threefold things. From within my words, you will discover true and re reliable revelation. They will give you serenity so that you can reveal the truth of the word of the one who sends you. Never oppress the poor or pass laws with the motive of crushing the weak. For the Lord will rise to plead their case and humiliate the one who humiliates the poor. Walk away from an angry man or you'll embrace a snare into your soul by becoming bad tempered just like him. Why would you ever guarantee a loan for someone else or promise to be responsible for their debts? For if you fail to pay, you could lose your shirt. <laughs> the previous generation has set boundaries in place. Don't you dare move them just to benefit yourself. If you are uniquely gifted in your work, you will rise to be promoted. You won't be held back. You'll stand before kings. Chapter 23. If you have been invited to dine with a very important person, consider your manners and keep in mind who you're with. Be careful to curb your appetite. Don't be deceived by all his delicacies, for they may have another motive in having you sit at their table. Don't compare yourself to the rich. Surrender your selfish ambition and evaluate them properly. For no sooner do you start counting your wealth, then it sprouts wings and flies away like an eagle in the sky. Here today, gone tomorrow. Be sensible when you dine with a stingy man, and don't eat more than you should, for he's a tightwad <laughs> who only has one thing on his mind. How much is this going to cost me? 
<laughs> he will grudgingly say, go ahead and eat all you want. But in his heart, he resents the fact that he has to pay for your meal. You'll be sorry you ate anything at all. And all your compliments will be wasted. A rebellious fool will despise your wise advice. So don't even waste your time. Save your breath. Never move a long-standing boundary line or attempt to take land that belongs to the fatherless. For they have a mighty protector, a loving redeemer who watches over them. And he will stand up for their cause. Pay close attention to the teaching that corrects you. And open your heart to every word of instruction. Don't withhold appropriate discipline from your child. Go ahead and punish him when he needs it. Don't worry, it won't kill him. A good spanking could be the very thing that teaches him a lifelong lesson. My beloved child, when your heart is full of wisdom, my heart is full of gladness. When you speak anointed words, we are speaking mouth to mouth. Don't allow the actions of evil men to cause you to burn with anger. Instead, burn with unrelenting passion as you worship God in holy awe. Your future is bright and filled with living hope that will never fade away. As you listen to me, my beloved child, you will grow in wisdom, and your heart will be drawn into understanding to make right decisions. Don't live in the excesses of drunkenness or gluttony or wasting your life away by partying all the time because drunkards and gluttons sleep their lives away and end up broke. Give respect to your father and mother for without them you wouldn't have you wouldn't even be here and don't neglect them when they grow old. Embrace the truth and hold it close. Don't let go of wisdom, instruction and life-giving understanding. When a father observes his child living in godliness, he's ecstatic with joy. Nothing makes him prouder. So, you, so may your father's heart burst with joy and your mother's soul be filled with gladness all because of you. My son, give me your heart and embrace fully what I'm about to tell you. Stay far away from prostitutes and you'll stay far away from the pit of destruction. For sleeping with a promiscuous woman is like falling into a trap that you'll never be able to escape. Like a robber hiding in the shadows, she's waiting to claim another victim, another husband unfaithful to his wife. Who has anguish? Who has bitter sorrow? Who constantly complains and argues? Who stumbles and falls and hurts himself? Who's the one with bloodshot eyes? Who's the one who drinks too much and is always looking for a brew? Make sure it's never you. And don't be drunk with wine, but be known as one who enjoys the companies of the lovers of God. For drunkenness brings the sting of a serpent, like the fangs of a viper upon your soul. It will make you hallucinate, mumble, and speak words that are perverse. You'll be like a seasick sailor being tossed to and fro, dizzy and out of your mind. You'll awake only to say, what hit me? I feel like I've been run over by a truck. <laughs> and off you'll go looking for another drink. Chapter 24. Don't envy the wealth of the wicked or crave their company, for they're obsessed with causing trouble and their conversations are corrupt. Wise people are builders. They build families, businesses, communities, and through intelligence and insight, their enterprises are established and endure. Because of their skilled leadership, the hearts of people are filled with treasures of wisdom and pleasures of spiritual wealth. Wisdom can make anyone into a mighty warrior, and revelation knowledge increases strength. Wise strategy is necessary to, rate, to wage war with many astute advisors. You'll see the path to victory more clearly. Wisdom is a treasure too lofty for a quarreling, quarreling fool. You'll have nothing to say when leaders gather together. There is one who makes plans to do evil. Master Schemer is his name. If you plan to do evil, it's as wrong as doing it. And everyone detests a troublemaker. If you faint under pressure, you have no courage. Go and rescue the perishing. Be their savior. Why would you stand back and watch them stagger to their death? 
And why would you say, but it's none of my business? Yet the one who knows you completely and judges your every motive is also the keeper of souls, not just yours. And he sees through your excuses and holds you responsible for failing to help those whose lives are threatened. Revelation knowledge is a delicacy, sweet like flowing honey that melts in your mouth. Eat as much of it as you can, my friend, for then you will receive, perceive what is true wisdom. Your future will be bright, and all this living, all this hope living within will never disappoint you. Listen up, you irreverent ones. Don't harass the lovers of God, and don't invade their resting place. For the lovers of God may suffer adversity and stumble seven times, but they will continue to rise over and over again. But the unrighteous are brought down by just one calamity and will never be able to rise again. Never gloat when your enemy meets disaster, and don't be quick to rejoice if he falls. For the Lord who sees your heart will be displeased with you and will pity your foe. Don't be angrily offended by evildoers or be agitated by them, for the wicked have no life and no future. Their light of life will die out. My child, stand in awe of the Lord Jehovah. Give counsel to others. Don't mingle with those who are rebellious, for sudden destruction will fall upon them, and their lives will be ruined at a, in a moment. And who knows what retribution they will face. Those enlightened with wisdom have spoken these proverbs. Judgment must be impartial, for it is always wrong to be swayed by a person's status. If you say to the guilty, you are innocent, the nation will curse you and the people will revile you. But when you convict the guilty, the people will thank you and reward you with favor. Speaking honestly is a sign of true friendship. Go ahead, build your career, give yourself to your work. But if you put me first, you'll see your family be built up. Why would you be a false accuser and slander with your words? Don't ever spitefully say, I'll get even with him. I'll do to him what he did to me. One day I passed by the field of a lazy man and I noticed the vineyards of a slacker. I observed nothing but thorns and weeds and broken down walls. So I considered their lack of wisdom and I pondered the lessons I could learn from this. Professional work habits preventing, prevent poverty from becoming your permanent business partner <laughs> and if you put off until tomorrow the work you could do today, tomorrow never seems to come. Chapter 25 God conceals the revelation of His Word in the hiding place of His glory. But the honor of kings is revealed to, to all by how they thoroughly mine out the deeper meaning of all that God says. The heart of a king is full of understanding, like the heavens are high and the ocean is deep. If you burn away the impurities from silver, a sterling vessel will emerge from the fire. If you purge corruption from the kingdom, a king's reign will be established in righteousness. Don't boast in the presence of a king or promote yourself by taking a seat at the head table. And pretend that you're someone important, for it's better for the king to say to you, Come, and you should sit at the head of the table. Come, you should sit at the head table. Then for him to say in front of everyone, Please get up and move. You're sitting in the place of the prince. Don't be hasty to file a lawsuit. Starting something you wish you hadn't. You could be humiliated when you lose your case. Don't reveal another person's secret just to prove a point in an argument, or you could be accused of being a gossip and gain a reputation of being one who betrays the confidence of a friend. When some words are spoken at just the right time, are just as appealing as apples gilded in a gold and surrounded with silver. To humbly receive wise correction adorns your life with beauty and makes you a better person. A reliable, trustworthy messenger refreshes the heart 
of his master, like a gentle breeze blowing at harvest time, cooling the sweat off of his brow. Clouds that carry no water, and a wind that brings no refreshing rain, that's what you're like when you boast of a gift that you don't have. <laughs> Use patience and kindness when you want to persuade a leader, and watch them change their mind right in front of you. For your gentle wisdom will quell the strongest resistance. When you discover something sweet, don't overindulge and eat more than you need. For excess in anything can make you sick of even a good thing. Don't wear out your welcome by staying too long at the home of your friends. Or they may get fed up uh, with always having you there and wish you wouldn't come. <laughs> Lying about and slandering someone is as bad as hitting them with a club or wounding them with an arrow, or stabbing them with a sword. You can't depend upon an unreliable person when you really need help. It, can't be, it can be compared to biting down on an obsessed tooth, or walking with a sprained ankle. When you sing a song of joy to someone suffering in the deepest grief and heartache, it can be compared to stealing their coat in the middle of a blizzard, or rubbing salt in their wound. Is your enemy hungry? Buy him lunch. Win him over with your kindness. Your surprising generosity will awaken his conscience, and God will reward you with favor. As the north wind brings a storm, saying things you shouldn't brings a storm to any relationship. It's better to live all alone in a rundown shack than to share a castle with a crabby spouse. <laughs> Like a drink of cool water to a weary, a weary, thirsty soul, so hearing good news revives the spirit. When a lover of God gives in and compromises with wickedness, it can be compared to contaminating a stream with sewage or polluting a fountain. It's good to eat sweet things, but if you, but you can take too much. It's good to be honored, but sweet words of praise is not honor at all. If you live without restraint, you are unable to control your temper. And are, if you live without restraint and are unable to control your temper, you're as helpless as a city with broken down defense, defenses, open to attack. Chapter 26. It is totally out of place to promote and honor a fool, just like it is out of place to have snow in the summer and rain at the harvest time. An undeserved curse will be powerless to harm you. It may flutter over you like a bird, but it will find no place to land. Guide a horse with a whip, direct a donkey with a bridle, and a rebellious fool with a beating on his backside. <laughs> Don't respond to the words of a fool with more foolish words, or you will become as foolish as he is. Yet. If you're asked a silly question, answer it with words of wisdom, so the fool doesn't think he's so clever. If you, cho if you choose a fool to represent you, you're asking for trouble. It would be as bad for you as cutting off your own feet. You can never trust the words of a fool, just like a crippled man can't trust his legs to support him. Give honor to a fool and watch it backfire, like a stone tied to a slingshot. <laughs> the statements of a fool will hurt others, like a thorn bush brandished by a drunk. Like a reckless archer shooting arrows at random is the impatient employer who hires just any fool who comes along. Someone's going to get hurt. Fools are are famous for repeating their errors, like dogs are known to return to their vomit. There's only one thing worse than a fool, and that's the smug, conceited man always in love with his own opinions. The lazy loafer says, I can't go out and look for a job. There may be a lion out there roaming wild in the streets. As the door is hinged to the wall, so the lazy man keeps turning over hinged to his bed. <laughs> there are some people so lazy they won't even work to feed themselves. A self-righteous person is 
is convinced he's smarter than seven wise counselors who tell him the truth. It's better to grab a mad dog by its ears than to meddle and interfere in a quarrel that's none of your business. The one who is caught lying to his friend and says, I didn't mean it, I was only joking, can be compared to a madman randomly shooting off deadly weapons. <laughs> it takes fuel to have a fire. A fire dies down when you run out of fuel. So quarrels disappear when the gossip ends. Add fuel to the fire and the blaze goes on. Add an argumentative man to the mix and you'll keep strife alive. Gossip is so delicious and how we love to swallow it for slander is easily absorbed into your innermost being. Smooth talk can hide a corrupt heart just like a pretty gaze covers a cheap clay plot. Kind words can cover the to conceal hatred of others for hypocrisy loves to hide behind flattery so don't be drawn by the hypocrite drawn in by the hypocrite for his gracious speech is a charade nothing but a masquerade covering his hatred and evil on parade don't worry he can't keep the mask on for long one day his hypocrisy will be exposed before all the world Go ahead and set a trap for others and then watch it, watch as it snaps back on you. Start a landslide and you'll be the one who gets crushed. Hatred is the root of slander and insecurity the root of flattery. Never brag about the plans you have for tomorrow for you have no, for you don't have a clue what tomorrow may bring you. Let someone else honor you for the, for the accomplishments for self-praise is never appropriate. It's easier to carry a heavy boulder than a ton of sand and a ton of sand than to be provoked by a fool and have to carry that burden. <laughs> the rage and anger of others can be overwhelming, but it's nothing compared to jealousy's fire. It's better to be corrected openly if it, seen, if it stems from head, hidden love. You can trust a friend who wounds you with honesty. But your enemy's pretended flattery comes from insecurity. When your soul is full, you turn down even the sweetest honey. But when your soul is starving, every bitter thing becomes sweet. Like a bird that has fallen from its nest is the one who is dislodged from his home. Sweet friendships refresh the soul and awaken our hearts with joy. For good friends are like the anointing oil that yields the fragrant incense of God's presence. So never give up on a friend or abandon a friend of your father. For in the day of your brokenness, you won't, you won't have to run to a relative for help. For a friend nearby is better than a relative far away. My son, when you walk in wisdom, your heart is filled with gladness. For the way you live is proof that I have not taught you in vain. A wise, shrewd person discerns anger ahead and pre prepares himself. But the naive simpleton never looks ahead and suffers the consequences. Cosign for one you barely know and you will pay a great price. Anyone stupid enough to guarantee a loan of another deserves to have his property seized in payment. Do you think you're blessing your neighbors when you sing at the top of your lungs early in the morning? <laughs> Don't be fooled. They'll curse you for doing it. An endless drip, drip, drip from a leaky faucet and the words of a cranky, nagging wife have the same effect. Can you stop the north wind from blowing or grasp a handful of oil? It's easier to do than to stop her from complaining. It takes a grinding wheel to sharpen a blade and so a friendly argument can sharpen a man. Tend an orchard and you'll have fruit to eat. Serve the master's interests and you'll receive honor that's sweet. Just as no two faces are alike, so every heart is different. Hell and destruction are never filled, and so the desires of men's hearts are insatiable. 
Fire is the way to test the purity of silver and gold. But the character of a man is tested by giving him a measure of fame. You can beat a fool half to death and still never beat the foolishness out of him. <laughs> a shepherd should pay close attention to the, fa to the faces of his flock and hold close to his heart the condition of those he cares for. A man's strength, power, and riches will one day fade away. Not even the nations endure forever. Take care of your responsibilities and be diligent in your business and you will have more than enough, an abundance of food, clothing, and plenty for your household. <laughs> Chapter 28. Guilty criminals experience, experience paranoia even though no one threatens them, but the innocent lovers of God, because of righteousness, will have the boldness of a young ferocious lion. A rebellious nation is thrown into chaos but leaders anointed with wisdom will restore law and order. When a pauper oppresses the destitute, it's like a flash flood that sweeps away their last hope. Those who turn their backs on what they know is right will no longer be able to tell right from wrong. But those who love the truth strengthen their souls. Justice never makes sense to a person devoted to darkness. But those tenderly devoted to the Lord can understand justice perfectly. It's more respectable to be poor and pure than rich and perverse. To be obedient to what you've been taught proves you're an honorable child, but to socialize with the lawless brings shame to your parents. Go ahead and get rich on the backs of the poor, but all the wealth you gather will one day be given to those who are kind to the needy. If you close your heart and refuse to listen to God's instruction, your prayer will be despised. Those who tempt the lovers of God with an evil scheme will fall into their own trap, but the innocent who resist temptation will experience reward. The healthy in their conceit presume to be wise, but a poor person with discernment can see right through them. The triumphant joy of God's lovers releases great glory. But when the wicked rise to power, everyone goes into hiding. If you cover up your sin, you'll never do well. But if you confess your sins and forsake them, you'll be kissed by mercy. Guard your life carefully and be tender to God, and you will experience His blessings. But the stubborn, unyielding heart will experience even greater evil. Ruthless rulers can only be compared to raging lions and roaming bears. Abusive leaders fail to employ wisdom, but leaders who despise corruption will enjoy a long, full life. A murderer's conscience will torment him, a fugitive haunted by guilt, all the way to the grave with no one to support him. The pure will be rescued from failure, but the perverse will suddenly fall into ruin. Work hard and you'll have all you desire, but chase a fantasy and you could end up with nothing. Life's blessings drench the honest and faithful person, but punishment rains down upon the greedy and dishonest. Giving favoritism to the rich and powerful is disgusting, and this type of judge and this is the type of judge who would betray a man for a bribe. Oops. A greedy man is in a race to get rich, but he forgets that he could lose what's most important and end up with nothing. If you correct someone with constructive criticism, in the end, he will appreciate it more than flattery. A person would reject his a person who would reject his own parents and say, "What's wrong with that?" is as bad as a murderer. To make rash, hasty decisions shows that you are not trusting the Lord. But when you rely totally on God, you will still act carefully and prudently. Self-confident know-it-alls will prove to be fools. But when you learn, when you lean on the wisdom from above, you will have a way to escape the troubles of your own making. You will never go without if you give to the poor, 
But if you're heartless, stingy, and selfish, you invite curses upon yourself. When the, when the wicked leaders rise to power, good people go into hiding. But when they fall from power, the godly take their place. Chapter 29 Stubborn people who repeatedly refuse to accept correction will suddenly be broken and never recover. Everyone rejoices when the lovers of God flourish, but the people groan when the wicked rise to power. When you love wisdom, you gather, or your father is overjoyed. But when you associate with prostitutes, you waste your wealth in exchange for disgrace. A godly leader who values justice is a great strength and example to the people. But the one who sells his influence for money tears down what is right. Flattery can often be used as a trap to hide ulterior motives and take advantage of you. The wicked always have a trap laid for others, but the lovers of God escape as they sing and shout in joyous triumph. God's righteous people will pour themselves out for the poor. But the ungodly make no attempt to understand or help the needy. Arrogant cynics love to pick fights, but the humble and wise love to pursue peace. There's no use arguing with a fool, for his ranting and raving prevents you from making a case and settling the argument in a calm way. Violent men hate those with integrity, but the lovers of God esteem those who are holy. You can recognize a fool by the way that they give full vent to their anger and let their words fly. But, but the wise bite their tongue and hold back all they could say. When leaders listen to false accusations, their associates become scoundrels. Poor people and their oppressors have only one thing in common. God made them both. The best insurance for a leader's longevity is to demonstrate justice to for the poor. Experiencing many corrections and rebukes will make you wise, but if, if left to your own ways, you'll bring disgrace to your parents. When the wicked are in power, lawlessness abounds, but the patient lovers of God will one day watch in triumph as their stronghold topples. Correct your child, and one day you'll find he has changed and will bring you great delight. When there is no clear prophetic vision, people quickly wander astray. When you follow the revelation of the word, heaven's bliss fills your soul. A stubborn servant can't be corrected by words alone, for even if he understands, he pays no attention to you. There's only one kind of person who is worse than a fool, the stupid one who speaks without thinking first. If you pamper your servants, don't be surprised when they expect to be treated as sons. The source of strife is found in an angry heart, for sin surrounds the life of a furious man. Lift yourself up with pride and you will soon be brought low. But a meek and humble spirit will add to your honor. You are your own worst enemy when you partner with a thief. For a curse of guilt will come upon you, and you when you fail to report a crime. Fear and intimidation is a trap that holds you back. But place your confident trust in the Lord and you will be seated in the high place. Everyone curries favor with leaders, but God is the judge, and justice comes from Him. The wicked hate those who live a godly life, but the righteous hate injustice whenever it is found. Chapter 30 These are the collected sayings of the prophet Agur, Jacob's son. The amazing revelation he imparted to Ithiel and Ukal. God, I am so weary and worn out that I feel like more like a beast than a man. I was made in your image, but I lack understanding. I've yet to learn wisdom that comes from the full 
and intimate knowledge of you, the Holy One. Who is it that travels back and forth from the heavenly realm to the earth? Who controls the wind as it blows and holds it in his fists? Who tucks the rain into the cloak of his clouds? Who stretches out the skyline from one vista to the other? What is his name and what is the name of his son? Who can tell me? Every promise from the faithful God is pure and proves to be true. He is a wraparound shield of protection for all his lovers who run in to hide in him. Never add to his words or he will have to rebuke you and prove that you're a liar. God, there are two things I'm asking you for before I die. Only two. Empty out my heart of everything that is false every lie and every crooked thing, and give me neither undue poverty nor undue wealth, but rather feed my soul with the measure of prosperity that pleases you. May my satisfaction be found in you, and don't let me be so rich that I don't need you, or so poor that I have to resort to dishonesty just to make ends meet. And when my life and then my life will never detract from bringing glory to your name. Never defame a servant before his master, for you will be the, one, the guilty one, and a curse will come upon you. There is a generation rising that curses their fathers and speaks evil of their mothers. There is a generation rising that considers themselves to be pure in their own eyes, yet they are morally filthy, unwashed, and unclean. There is a generation rising that is so filled with pride, they think they are superior and look down on others. There is a generation rising that uses their words like swords to cut and slash those who are different. And they devour the poor, the needy, and the afflicted from off the face of the earth. There are three words to describe the greedy. Give me more. <laughs> there are... <laughs> There are some things that are never satisfied, forever craving more. They're unable to say, that's enough. Here are four. The grave, yawning for another victim, I mean, yeah, yawning for another victim. The barren womb, ever wanting a child. The thirsty soul, ever longing for rain. And a raging fire devouring its fuel. They're all insatiable. The eye that mocks his father and dishonors his elderly mother deserves to be plucked out by the ravens of the valley and fed to the young vultures. There are four marvelous mysteries that are too amazing to unravel. Who could fully explain them? The way the eagles fly in the sky, the way a snake glides on a boulder, the path of a ship as it passes through the sea, the way of a bridegroom falls in love with his bride. Here is the deceptive way of an adulterous woman. She takes what she wants and then says, I've done nothing wrong. There are four intolerable events that simp are simply unbearable to observe. When an unfaithful servant becomes a leader, when a scoundrel becomes, comes into great wealth, when an unfaithful woman marries a good man, and when a mistress replaces a faithful wife. The earth has four creatures that are very small but very wise. The feeble ant has little strength, yet look how they diligently gather their food in the summer to last throughout the winter. The delicate rock badger is, is not at all that strong. Yet look how he makes a secure home, nestled in the rocks. The locusts have no king to lead them, yet they cooperate as they move forward by bands. And the small lizard is so easy to catch as it clings to the walls with its hands, yet can be found inside a king's palace. There are four stately monarchs who are impressive to watch as they go forth. The lion, the king of the jungle, is afraid of no one. The rooster strutting boldly among the hens. The male goat out in front of leading the herd. And a king leading his regal procession. 
If you've acted foolishly by drawing attention to yourself, or if you've thought about saying something stupid, you better shut your mouth. For such stupidity may give, give you a bloody nose. Because stirring up an argument only leads to an angry confrontation. Chapter 31 These are the inspired words of my mother. My mother taught me. Listen, my dear son, son of my womb, you are the answer to my prayers, my son. So keep yourself sexually pure from the promiscuous wayward woman. Don't waste your, the strength of your anointing on those who ruin kings. You'll live to regret it. For if you, for you are a king, Lemuel, and it's never fitting for a king to be drunk on wine or for rulers to crave alcohol. For when they drink, they forget justice and ignore the rights of those in need, those who depend upon you for leadership. Strong drink is given to the terminally ill who are suffering at the brink of death. Wine is for those in depression in order to drown their sorrows. Let them drink and forget their poverty and misery. But you're not, but you, but you are to be a king that speaks up on behalf of disenfranchised and pleads for the illegal, pleads for the legal rights of the defenseless and those who are dying. Be a righteous king, judging on behalf of the poor and interceding for those most in need. Who could ever find a wife like this one? She's a woman of strength and such mighty valor. She's full of wealth and wisdom. The price paid for her was greater than many jewels. Her husband has entrusted his heart to her, for she brings him rich spoils of victory. All throughout her life, she brings him what is good, not evil. She searches out continually to possess that which is pure and righteous. She delights in the work of her hands. She gives out revelation truth to feed others like a trading ship bringing divine supplies from the merchants. Even in the night season, she arises and sets food on the table for hungry ones in her house and for others. She sets her heart upon a nation and takes it as her own, carrying it within her. She labors there to plant the living vines. She wraps herself in strength, might, and power. In all her work, she tastes and experiences a better substance, and her shining light will not be extinguished. No matter how dark the night, she stretches out her hands to help the needy, and she lays hold of the wheels of government. She is known by her extravagant generosity to the poor, for she always reaches out her hands to those in need. She's not afraid of tribulation, for all her household is covered in the dual garments of righteousness and grace. Her clothing is beautifully knit together, a purple gown and of exquisite linen. Her husband is famous and admired by all, sitting as the venerable judge of his people. Even her works of righteousness she does for the benefit of her enemies. Bold power and glorious majesty are wrapped around her as she laughs with joy over the latter days. Her teachings are filled with wisdom and kindness as loving instruction pours from her lips. She watches over the ways of her household and meets every need they have. Her sons and daughters arise in one accord to extol her virtues. Her husband arises to speak of her in glowing terms. There are many valiant and noble ones, but you have ascended above them all. Charm can be misleading, and, and beauty is vain, so quickly fades. But a virtuous woman lives in the wonder, awe, and fear of the Lord. She will be praised throughout eternity, so go ahead and give her the credit that is due her. For she has become the radiant woman, and all her loving works of righteousness deserve to be admired at the gateways of every city. And so ends... Uh, 
I think that's the end. <laughs> and so ends the Proverbs. The revelation herein will make you a champion. You will reign in victory and excel in life. Wisdom from above will pour into your heart until you become an, an example to your generation. Live in this book and wisdom will live in you. All right, the end. <laughs>